morning, my Galilee family. This is Paula. We have another Friday focus um, theme, and I hope you're ready for the weekend. I know I am. We have our tea coming up, and we've been looking forward to that for a long time now. And I'm also looking forward to spring. I, I know it's coming. Some days it seems it's here, and others, not so sure. But we know it's coming. And that's what I want to talk about today. Um, reflections of spring and a garden. And um, I must confess, uh, I did go to a um, Lutheran and uh, Women in Mission LWML uh, function last Saturday, and this, we talked about that and how um, God is our master garden gardener. And I'm thinking, wow, that is so true. And so we did our whole life like a garden and we had little group discussions like how is your soil at this time and that kind of thing. Um, but uh, what I really wanted to talk about the, the seeds, um, it was in Mark um, 4, I think it's 26 through 28, the parable of the growing seed. I think we're probably all familiar with it. He also said, this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground night and day. Whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself, the soil produces grain. First the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it, because the harvest has come. And that is so true. It's one of those things, faith, we don't know how it happens, it just happens. You put the seed in, and I think that's how we are. Um, the seed of faith, the seed, the word of God in us, and if we're nurturing it, it grows. And I thought that, to me, it's a really good analogy of our life with Christ is taking care of our garden, because it does take a lot of work to take care of our garden. For instance, weeds, that's the worst. And that I'm talking vegetable garden, flower garden, whatever, weeds. Um, what weeds do you have in your garden? Your personal garden, like envy, bitterness, sadness, selfishness, I mean, there's a whole list. I, at one time or the other, probably have had them all, and I think all of us. But then we have to concentrate on those weeds and get rid of them. And the only way we can get rid of them is to keep working on it and stay in the Word and remember that this is our temple. We're to take care of it as our precious garden. And um, so I just think this spring, that's what we should think about when we see the flowers pop up, like these. Now, I'm going to admit, these are not, they're artificial, but they're still pretty. Um, but this is what I love walking around the neighborhoods and seeing the beautiful flowers. And it's like, did you notice like all of a sudden it's green and then all the colors. And it just, it's such a renewal. And to me, we've just had Easter you know, Christ is risen, he is risen indeed, hallelujah. And everything is just new again, and that's how I feel. Um, I feel like I'm new again, and I wanna to continue to get better in my faith, and it's a struggle, and I think it's a struggle for all of us to keep those weeds out of our garden. And so anyway, I also um, found in, it's Matthew 13, 44, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which is a man found and hid. And for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and he buys that field because it's a treasure. And I think we know who our treasure is and we need to take care of it and nourish it and grow in our faith every day. And then there's, I want to read this because I just love this. And this I did, I received when I, I went to the spring rally. It's called A Springtime Prayer by Joyce Rupp. Ever renewing, ever renewing, excuse me, an energizing creator, 
come stir in my dormant spiritual limbs. Wake up my tired prayer. Revive my weary efforts of care. Sing hope into my discouragement. Wash my dusty drab attitude, I like that, with the cleansing rains of your vision. Go deep to my roots and penetrate my faith with the vibrancy of your grace. Shake loose the old leftover oak leaves of my tenacious ego-centeredness. Coax joy to sprout from my difficulties. Warm the buds of my relationships so they bloom with healthy love. Clear out my winter debris with the wild breeze of your liberating presence. Nudge me, woo me, entice me, draw me to you. Um, I think that's a, a nice way to end our focus um, theme. And really this coming week, think about your garden and how you're preparing it. You've probably already started preparing it and really work on those weeds and getting rid of the weeds. Um, and they'll come back. We just have to pluck them back out again because that's how weeds are. Um, but I just, I love this prayer because I'm thinking it says so much and especially in this, this time of spring when everything is gonna be renewed and it is, and we need to take care of it. So having said that, you know, take care of your garden, pull the weeds and pray for, I, I can't, we have so many people on our prayer list that it just, it, it breaks my heart. And we have some young people so continue your prayers um, for our people in our congregation and friends and relatives of people in our congregation. And of course the world and Ukraine, it, it's, it's overwhelming at times. And pray for a, a pastor. He's been, luckily he did get away a little bit, but his getting away, cause they still, they're really active when they get away. And then, you know, he had services again, and then he went and, was with Ben for two different states for um, for college, which is all exciting, but it, it wears him out too. So say a prayer for Pastor, uh, and it's a blessing because we're blessed to have him and the whole Hilbert family and so excited for Ben. And I'm excited because we're going to be seeing Abby really shortly. She may be in town now, I'm not sure. But anyway, until next time, as I always say, keep looking up because he's our gardener. Bye.